The James Webb Telescope has just unveiled something both fascinating and unsettling about the early universe. Scientists are now claiming that the galaxies they've discovered beyond the Dark Ages appear to be mirror images of our own. Surprisingly, they were abundant within the first billion years after the Big Bang. This completely challenges our current cosmological theories, which suggest that the universe evolved in an orderly way. As scientists peer deeper into the early universe, astonishing and disturbing findings are being uncovered. The number of galaxies being observed is far greater than expected, and there seems to be no end in sight. This makes it feel as though the universe has no clear beginning or end. Some scientists say it appears as if we're seeing the same universe again, or a mirror image of our own near the time of the Big Bang. This raises serious questions about whether there is any predictable pattern in the evolution of our universe. Seriously, it's shaking up everything we thought we knew about how the universe works. It's called Zhulong, discovered by astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope. What's astonishing is that this is a fully formed spiral galaxy. It's the oldest spiral galaxy in the early universe we've ever discovered. It existed when the universe was only about one billion years old. That's super early in cosmic terms. Our universe is around 13.8 billion years old today. Now, here's the part that's freaking scientists out. Galaxies like this, especially spiral ones, aren't supposed to exist so early. According to our current models, these types of galaxies should take billions of years to form. They're expected to grow slowly over time through messy mergers with smaller galaxies. But Zhulong already looks mature, with a central bulge filled with old stars. It has a bright disk where new stars are being born in clear spiral arms. In fact, scientists call it the most distant Milky Way twin we've ever seen. Its size and structure just don't make sense based on the standard cosmological model. First study author Menjuen Xiao, a postdoctoral researcher, noted how Zhulong stands out. He stated that Zhulong resembles the Milky Way in shape, size, and stellar mass. While Zhulong is older than the Milky Way, it could be mistaken for our galaxy's little sibling. New research estimates Zhulong's star-forming disk measures about 60,000 light-years across. It contains around 100 billion solar masses compared to the Milky Way's 1.5 trillion. Still, Zhulong is by far the largest Milky Way lookalike spotted at such an early time. And here's the wild part. It's not just one galaxy like the Milky Way found in the early universe. We've actually seen several spiral galaxies that look surprisingly similar to our own. These galaxies are popping up way earlier than they should. We've previously discussed discoveries like Ceres 2112, which was found in 2023. This galaxy is about 11.7 billion light years away, seen as it was when the universe was young. Yet, it already had a well-defined spiral shape, just like our Milky Way. Recently, scientists found another massive galaxy in the early universe that resembles a giant wheel version of our own. Web data suggests there are many more galaxies like it in the early universe. The discovery of Zulong joins a growing list of well-formed Milky Way-like galaxies. This is a big deal, and honestly, it's a bit of a headache for scientists. According to our current understanding, galaxies like the Milky Way take billions of years to evolve. Our own galaxy took about 13 billion years to become what it is today. So how on Earth, or rather, how in the universe, are we seeing galaxies that look just like ours? These galaxies are forming only one billion years after the Big Bang. It doesn't add up. Some scientists are now asking a deep question. Why does the early universe seem to mirror our universe today? It's like we're looking at cosmic twins in the past, and no one knows how or why they got there so fast. This is making us rethink the timeline of galaxy formation entirely. But wait, it gets even more surprising. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed something puzzling. In a new research paper, scientists say they found galaxies existing way beyond what we thought was possible. According to their analysis, Webb has detected galaxies at redshift values higher than 15, 
possibly even as high as 20. In simple terms, the higher the redshift, the further back in time we're looking. A redshift of 15 or more means we're seeing galaxies as they were when the universe was only about 100 million years old. This is just a blink after the Big Bang. In this latest study, the team selected 10 objects from Webb's AstroDeep JWST catalog. These objects have the right colors and properties to suggest they're at redshift Z equals 15 to 20. This means they're among the earliest galaxies we've ever seen. Now, here's the shocking part. If these galaxies are that old, they formed incredibly fast. Just a few million years after the Big Bang, that's way earlier than our current theories suggest. Scientists are understandably skeptical and cautious. They're now calling for detailed spectroscopy tests to confirm the exact distances and ages of these galaxies. If those tests confirm Webb's observations, this could shake the foundations of modern cosmology. Astronomers Cosmon Ali, Gillian Palin, and Catherine Fries published results of their infrared observations using Webb. They revealed three objects that could be mistaken for galaxies, but may actually be dark stars. So what is a dark star? The very first stars that formed about 200 million years after the Big Bang. As a reminder, the universe is 14 billion years old. This was very early on. The very first light, the very first objects, could have been very different from normal stars. Instead of being powered by fusion, they could have been powered by dark matter. At the center, there could be a high concentration of dark matter particles annihilating each other. Whatever they annihilate into gets trapped inside this star. As we've discussed, Webb's observations reveal that the expansion rate of the early universe doesn't match the local universe. If the universe isn't expanding at a consistent rate everywhere, it raises troubling possibilities. What if the universe doesn't even have a single fixed age? What if the age of the universe varies, depending on where you look? This completely challenges our current cosmological models. It suggests that measuring the age and evolution of the universe might be fundamentally flawed. This could mean everything we thought we knew about the universe's beginning needs to be rethought. All these discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have shaken our understanding of the universe. Until recently, scientists believed the early universe was a quiet, dark place with no galaxies for hundreds of millions of years. But Webb has turned that idea on its head by spotting galaxies that existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Even during a time once called the Cosmic Dark Ages, some of these galaxies look just like our Milky Way with spiral arms and fully developed structures. Webb's discovery suggests that the universe's expansion is non-uniform, raising scary possibilities. What if the universe doesn't even have a single age? What if it's older in some places and younger in others? This would mean our basic idea of how the universe began could be completely wrong. These findings have led scientists to consider bold new theories. Some suggest our universe might have come from a previous one. Others think there could be a mirror universe existing before the Big Bang. Some even say the universe might not have had a beginning at all. It could have always existed. That's the end of this video. If you found it interesting and informative, let us know your thoughts.